FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Kevin Jackson, Keep Black Spear. You found the Black Spear. Before we get to that, can I ask you something black related? Sure, man. All right. So Ellen DeGeneres gets hammered on Twitter because she put a picture of herself, which is a funny picture, actually, on the back of Usain Bolt, right? Right. And says, this is how I'm running errands from now on. It's a very funny picture, and it's very cute because Ellen DeGeneres is cute. Yeah. So she does that, and all these people come out of the woodwork saying she's a racist. Yeah. It's, it's just stupid. It's stupid. Go, look, it, it, the Ellen DeGeneres, for, for something that, quite frankly, is very funny, very clever, uh, they would, there are people out there who would love to Paula Dean her. And it, just, it goes to show you how silly the idea of racism has become in this country. And if that doesn't prove to the people listening to this program that you need to disregard, whenever you hear the term racist, you should, you should disregard it. Uh, I, what's another archaic word that we no longer use? You know, <laughs> Think of it as that. It's the dodo bird of words. Forget right. it. Don't recognize it. Tell people, go to hell uh, for calling you racist or saying, or if they tell you that you are, say, yeah, proud racist. What next? <laughs> you know, just yeah. you got to drop this stuff because – Ellen is, there's nobody on the planet who would believe this woman is a racist. Nobody, right? I, I think Ellen is like one of the most clever people out there. The, the fact of her sexuality has zero to do with me, but I'm saying, you know, in terms of what I think about her. Yeah. But she's a avowed leftist in the sense of she fits the mold. She is a feminist. She's a, you know, lesbian woman who's successful, who, you know, she, she's the epitome of the left. And they're attacking her. I know. That should tell you all you need to know. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I love her. I want to pivot back to what you were talking about earlier. Yeah. The, what Trump needs to do is, is exactly what you said, but with a twist. He needs to always tie Hillary's policies to her crookedness. No matter what she says, Trump should say, Hillary's proposing to do this with so-and-so. You have to ask yourself, how's that going to benefit the Clinton Foundation? When you do it, when Hillary b- comes up with a policy, whether it's a tax policy, whether it's foreign policy, whether it's a policy that she claims is going to help blacks or help children or help midgets, you've got to ask yourself, what's in it for her? That's the question every time. Now, when he starts doing that and tying it to keeping it inextricably to, you know, together, or, or you know, yeah. tying it together all the time, that's when he wins. Trump, he, he can talk policy, but now he's, it's a wonk. Now we're talking to the bread and butter, uh, meat and potatoes, conservatives. That stuff never gets down to the bottom. Right. But when Trump ties Hillary Clinton's policies, for example, his speech about her in Milwaukee creating problems in the black community, and he's going to solve them. And, he, and if he had said, I'll ask you, black community, look at her foundation. Look at the amount of money she raised saying she's going to help people in Haiti and all over the world. And only 10 cents of every dollar is getting to those folks. But she has become a multimillionaire. And see, that's the way he should be framing that speech. That's a that's an excellent point, because I guess you could also say she's kinder to people who don't even live here that in terms of the people who give to her foundation than she well, is you, you, to you, Americans. Yeah. You, you could take it to foreign policy, but you don't go there. Just say, hey, uh, I'll ask you this, black America. How many of you have a million dollars to give to the Clinton Foundation to get favors? If you want to know why your communities are not improving, it's because you don't have enough money to donate to Hillary Clinton so she can help you. So she'll pretend to help you because she needs your vote. Now, see, I'm just saying, I yeah. would keep everything... That I, and I would say, now look, you ask me this. Ask me what I've done. I build buildings in cities. I want to revamp your, 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 the black communities. I, and in fact, I think it's a shame that we call things black communities. Right. How about we revamp our communities and you benefit? Hillary Clinton is not trying to benefit. If you give her a dollar, she'll give you a dime back. Yeah. That's what she wants to do. Now, see, that's keeping it, the, the talking policy, yeah. but still keeping it in the realm of she's a crook. Because she is, and she's right. not helping anybody. KJ, can you hang on just for a couple more minutes? Because I, I got a break, and then sure, come back Let's to you it. before I get to Skip Weber, and because and I, I want to settle up a few other things with you. Uh, appreciate you, as always, and at the Black Sphere, theblacksphere.net. That's KJ. Hang on the line, and all of you, too. And Weber's World is on the way as well. 969 You're listening to Almond in the Morning, Common Sense Radio. We wrap it up with KJ, Kevin Jackson, The Black Sphere. And Kevin, I'm currently seeing on my TV screen this 
little punk McMullen who is prostituting himself for the never Trump crowd. The guy never hasn't given a speech, hasn't held a rally, completely relies on just being interviewed on TV. Yeah, this dude. I look. I I, I don't buy, buy into any of this stuff. I, I think Trump is uh, right on schedule. I know a lot of people are panicking out there because the media is just bludgeoning the guy. But for example, this new thing, the change with Manafort, and I, it's a it's amazing that Trump does this. I love it. it. Think about it this way, and I hope the audience can think about it this way. In business, you're you're going along, you're tracking, you're making a product. Sales are what they are. Deliveries are what they are. What have you? And suddenly you have a, a, a drop in, in sales or something like that. You immediately start to investigate, how do I keep things moving forward? Trump is so amazing at this. He got rid of Lewandowski, brings on Manafort, and, and steadies the ship. Now there's some issues coming up because it's a bigger media deal, and Manafort's no longer as effective as he needs to be. He makes a change. The media sees that change as a negative. That's a positive. Everybody in the conservative movement should be looking at this as here's a businessman evaluating quickly. He's not checking with HR. He doesn't have to, to, to say, oh, you know what, I'm going to go hire a, you know, a black you know, midget uh, Guatemalan yeah. or whatever. He says, I'm going to make a change to the best person that can move me forward down the path. And I think that's phenomenal. So don't look at that as bad. Look at that as good. This guy coming in is, uh, from a never-Trump perspective is just more of the desperation of the left. That's what you should look at this as. When they cover up for Hillary Clinton, more desperation of the left. Everything that's happening that Trump is doing, and by the way, he's pivoting, and you heard in his speech yesterday, if, you, if people were listening, Trump attacked Hillary Clinton on the issue of what she's been doing in the black community. That's a big pivot that I have been telling people. I couldn't talk about it because I had a meeting with them, but that's a big pivot. Trump, at the right time, is now starting to wake black people up to say, you go out and look at, just go out of your, on your front porch, look at the, survey the landscape of where you are, and tell me that's what you want. Tell me you want those unsafe streets where your kids can't walk and your grandmother is, has, is at risk of getting beaten you know, or, and robbed. Tell me that those are the schools you want. Tell me that those other people of other nationalities running businesses in your neighborhood, that's what you want. Tell me that you don't want to have the freedom of mobility to move around this country the way everybody else does because you're economically hostage, hostage to those schools, hostage to that high-crime environment. I'll fix it, but Hillary Clinton has no way to fix it. And I'm telling you, that's the pivot that's going to be the biggest thing. And the next thing that will happen will be, I think, will be even bigger uh, because I happen to know a little bit of inside baseball. So, you know, hang in there, people. Yeah, well, you know, that, that's why listening to his speech last night, it's how long have you and me and other folks in our movement, so to speak, in our genre, have been screaming at our TVs at the likes of Mitt Romney, these other milk toast Republicans, to talk straight. Yeah. To, you know, and, and they never have. And so last night was a real dramatic turn of events, not just for Trump, but also just for the Republican Party itself. Uh, no doubt. And I'm telling you right now, you, you watched a shift that I knew was going to occur because we had candid conversations about this in Cleveland. But I knew the shift was going to occur. And as it continues to gain momentum, as Hillary is we still start finding out more and more about the email stuff. Now, I know people think that's it, it, I don't know what they think, but I think a lot of people think it's going to go away. The ACLJ just got a whole new set of emails that they're pouring through right now, Jay Sekulow's team, that I think that dump, because they've only dumped like 44, and they've already tied her to this you know, Nigerian Lebanese guy. But when this next dump comes, it, it's going to be tough for these guys to continue to just run with this, well, we're not in, it's no problem. I don't know if you saw this, but there was a guy that wrote an op-ed piece that said that the Clintons should drop the foundation completely. Because even the meme that, hey, we're, they're out there doing good work is going to be tough to sell going forward. So there's actual consideration, and Bill Clinton alluded to it, well, if, if Hillary wins, we'll drop it. And people are asking, why don't you drop it now? Yeah, well. So I, there's more coming out about that even that I think is going to rock their boat. All right, Kevin Jackson, thanks, brother. I appreciate right, it, as Take always. Care, at the Black Sphere, theblacksphere.net.